This is the problem one for the test to review. Calculate the mass of a person weighing 150 pounds. Remember, pounds is a unit of force in the British unit system, so we have to convert that to mass. And then it says calculate how much force must be exerted to make them accelerate at a rate of 8 feet per second squared. Uh, 32 feet per second squared is the acceleration of gravity in the British unit system, so 8 feet per second squared is one-fourth of the acceleration of gravity, right? Now, how about if we want to make them accelerate up at 8 feet per second squared? How much force do we need? So first, let's uh, calculate the person's mass. Mass is the weight <coughs> divided by gravity, right? So since they weigh 150 pounds, the acceleration of gravity is 32 feet per second squared. When you divide that, you get units of slugs. So let's do this. Hundred and fifty divided by thirty-two, four point four point six eight seven five slugs. So the person has a mass of four point six eight seven five slugs. Now, if I want to make them accelerate, so I put them in a car, or I put them, or I just push them, basically. If I want to make them accelerate, F equals m a. So this one particularly was your weight. So we can put W here. The weight of the person was 150. Now if I want to exert a certain amount of force to make them accelerate, F equals 4.6875. And then the acceleration, we, I want them to accelerate at 8. So 37.5. So if I exert a 37 and a half pound force, right, 37 and a half pound force, I will make a 150 pound person accelerate forward at one fourth the acceleration of gravity, okay, at eight feet per second squared. Now, how about if I want to make them accelerate up? Okay, what's gonna happen? such as in the case of an elevator, right? So if a person is here, and let's say the elevator is accelerating up, let's say, at eight feet per second squared, which is again one fourth of gravity. How much force must the bottom of the elevator, the floor of the elevator exert on him, right? And now the answer is not going to be the same as 37 and a half why because the elevator or the floor has to push on him greater than his weight it has to overcome his weight right so we're going to say n minus mg equals ma because his weight is pushing him down right so n minus 150 since he weighs 150 pounds is equal to 4.68, uh, so I'm using this one here, 75 times 8. So in other words, the same uh, calculation that I have there, 4.6875 times 8, which is going to give me again 37 and a half. So if I want the person accelerating up, I will have to exert the force of 187 and a half pounds, 187 and a half pounds. So if we apply this to the elevator, what if the person is actually standing on a scale? What is the scale going to read? The scale will read the same as the force supplied by the floor of the elevator, right? So the scale will actually read 187 and a half pounds. So the initial acceleration that the elevator experiences is going up it's going to make him feel heavier than his actual weight. So it's, he's going to think he is actually 187 and a half pounds. This is called your apparent weight when you are accelerating. Okay, thank you.